get your balls to the wall, all right? Show me the sign of victory. Yes, indeed. I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's an important song. That's a very important song uh, about uh, overcoming the beatdowns of the goonerment upon you. Uh, yeah, yeah, very important. By the way, hey, that we're, this is the, the Balls to the Wall Freakers Freakers Balls to the Wall show. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's Friday night, December 18, 2020, one week from Christmas Day. So, uh, howdy, hi. Welcome to everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, did I do it now? Sing anything, sing anything? Let me do an now thing, just so everybody knows. I think everybody knows. Oh, I did it now already. All right. Don't mind me. <laughs> well, so anyway, hopefully everybody's doing, uh, hopefully everybody's doing okay out there on this fine, fine Friday night. The, you know, one, one of the last ones of 2020, yeah. Everybody's going to celebrate. Hooray! We survived 2020. 2021 going to be better for you? Is that how that works? <laughs> anyway, welcome to everybody listening, uh, either here on RealLibertyMedia.com or uh, on Vaughn.Live slash RealLibertyMedia for the video stream, or if you're just listening to the audio, you could be hearing that on RLMRadio.xyz, uh, and uh, all the folks here in the chat, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, two days to the Great Conjunction, Beth Z says. Okay. Yeah, two days. Um, we have, uh, let's see, one, two. Yeah, two weekends left in the year. Two weekends. This one and the next one. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Bada doop. Hello? Hello. Is this the Mighty Moose Girl? It is. How you doing? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. That's good. Yep. Hanging out, hanging in. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was just saying, you know, there's, mm -hmm. uh, uh... We're coming up to the end of 2020 real quickly, like. Yep. Um, and, and everybody's going to have a big party and celebrate it's the end of 2020, right? Oh, really? Well, yeah. I haven't heard of it. <laughs> well, p people have had enough junk, you know, going through this year. And they and, and a lot of people seem to think somehow, I, I don't know what kind of magic they're depending on, that 2021 is going to be a better. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking, I believe that when I see it, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking not so much. <laughs> not, I'm thinking not so much too. Yeah, because uh, why? Why? What, what, what's going to happen? What, what, what happens at midnight on December thirty first, twenty twenty? Is there some kind of somebody going to wave a big wand or something that makes suddenly all the the shit fuckery go away? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Probably so. not. No, no, it's not. They're just ramping up right now. Right. They are. This year is bad. Wait till next year. Oh, Kate says it's inauguration day. So January twentieth, all the shit fuckery will go Twenty first. Well, Isn't well, it the twenty first? I, I thought it was the twentieth. I'm not sure. Well, no, no. Okay. Well, maybe the, I don't know what day. I thought it was the 21st, but whatever. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, whatever, man. One um, of them days. Well, Monday's the solstice, so yep. uh, that means the, your, your days will stop getting shorter. Right, which is good. <laughs> so you'll be, able, you'll be able to get some more light coming, your, coming back your direction for those of you that like that stuff. Yeah, it takes about four months, though. I know, but it's, you know, instead of losing a minute a day, you'll start gaining a minute a day or whatever it is. I don't know how many minutes. Right. Uh, yeah. Mine was uh, last Sunday. My birthday. What? What? Uh, Mike's oh, birthday? Oh, he's talking about his birthday. Oh, January 25th? Well, yeah, okay. Um, Asmo's birthday is 
next December twenty fifth. Fr- next Friday, which is Asmo, you're not our savior. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you were born on that day. (laughs) Millions of other folks were, too. Um, (laughs) Yes, they were. Yeah, millions of folks are born on every day. And that isn't even the real day. I know, but that's not even the real day. That's the Of the actual, if it happened. Yeah, 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 just a celebration day. Just a celebration day. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was stolen. It was stolen from the pagans because... They wanted yep. to take over the pagan holidays, so they did. Right. And Christmas was a big one, so was Easter. Yep. Yeah. yeah. They were, yeah. Well, basically, though, it was um, just following the harvest schedule and everything, just following the moon phases and, right. you know, the yeah. changes. It, it, yeah. it, it wasn't rocket science. <laughs> I can't no. talk very well today. That's all right. They, they, uh, yeah, I mean, they wanted to steal the solstice away from the pagans. Right. Yeah, so... And they, they incorporated it, and that's how they created Christianity, you know? Well, um, I don't know if that's how they did it or not, but... Well, part of it, not all of it. I mean, you know what I mean? They yeah. they took a lot and, and reworded it or whatever, you know what I'm sure. saying? Sure, no, yeah, they they absolutely... They, the Catholic Church, a bunch of evil bastards. <laughs> yeah. You know, all those freaking... Yep. Uh, the, the Crusades, oh, man, just, just terrible stuff they did. Yeah. Uh, in the name of love, apparently. Yeah, we're going to wipe all of you out if you don't want to believe how we believe. Yeah. Yeah. Very we, Christian of you. Because we love you. <laughs> yeah, we love you, but if you do not comply and adopt this new religion, we're going to chop your motherfucking head off. Right. Burn you at a stake, so, whatever. Yeah, and put it on a pyre. After on a pyre after, for everyone to look at. Like, this is what happens when you don't comply. After we torture the hell out of you, then we're going to yep. kill you. Yeah. Chop your head off and put it on a pyre. So, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> anyway, um, there is no holidays or anything. Supposedly, we're not supposed to have them this well, year. Well, no, right? you, you can have them, but you have to have them alone. Okay. Yeah, there is, there's no... None of that family gathering stuff. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. No. None of that. Yeah. So so all those packages that you're getting from uh, wherever people are sending yeah. them to you from, don't worry about those containing the the Corona Bologna. Right. <laughs> don't worry about that. No. No, oh, because, you know, it only lasts on surfaces for so long. Yeah, six weeks or something. <laughs> really? I don't know. Okay. Uh, there, there was different stories going throughout this year about how long it lasted on the packaging. Right. I think they quashed that because they realized they still needed to have some kind of commerce going on. And right. And, They're like, oh, people are going to be people better not be paranoid about the mail. Right. Yeah. Like, they get, they, you know, they, they yeah. Right. Because if, people, if they don't get their mail and their packages. And they can't shop online. They're going to freak the fuck out. Of course, of course, they tried to, to do it with the cash too, but because they don't want people using cash. But right. if, but if it's going to, if according to them, which of course it doesn't, but if according to them it lives on cash, then of course it's going to live on a box. Right. So so they had kind yeah. of, they started out with all that. Exactly. Oh yeah, remember the cash thing? Oh, people even said like. Um, or, I heard someone say that they Lysol their money. Which is stupid and crazy. They put Lysol on their money on the one side, and they flip it over and spray it, and then tell it dries, and they use it. <laughs> it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, because then they just pick it up with their hands, right? Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> at first, when this when it started, it started or whatever, Yeah. it seemed like everyone was like so super paranoid. You know what I mean? Right. Well, you know, with with, At the, first, you with, know. with with the Chinese showing people falling dead in the street, right? Which never happened. Those were obviously staged photos, right? Um, uh, but uh, I saw uh, pictures of people that that microwave their money and it just destroys the money. <laughs> it burns it up, dude. Yeah. Well, you know, it's got that metal strip in there for you know whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> count, count, counterfeiting, counterfeiting purposes. How dumb can you be? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, uh, just, look, I... just, just look. Just, just look around. People can be pretty dumb. Yeah, I guess so. 
Oh, we'll, 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 you know, because, you know, they tell you to put your dish drag or your, your, your sponge or whatever in the microwave for 30 seconds so that, like, removes the germs, you know? Do they? I never heard that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to. You're, you're supposed to, like, sponges are terrible for germs, dude. Yeah. They are. They, they hold germs inside them. And so, for a long time, if you really want, like, I don't use a sponge when I clean dishes or anything. Yeah. I use a rag, a dish rag. So, um, but people that do use sponges, I and I have done those with sponges, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Get it wet, put it in there. Okay, yep. I, I use a sponge for everything, and I have for years, and oh, yeah? I, I've never gotten sick from it. Well, you got to clean. If they get gross and nasty, you got to throw them out. Well, yeah, of them. course. I mean, they, you know, duh. They, don't, they only last but, so long. Right, and but if you really want to, like, disinfect it, yeah. throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I guess, like I said, I've been using the sponges for years. I never got sick. No, I, I hear you. People can be really paranoid about some of that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I... Um, yeah, I use those sponges with the, you know, with the scrubby thing on it. Yeah, I have one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. with the handle. Yeah, I buy them by the packs of 10 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Those are No, fine. there's no handle. I mean, as long as you replace them, you know, then they... I think they're talking about people that like their let their sponges get totally gross and nasty, and they keep using them. <laughs> it's uh, like well, I, I use the I use the, I use the worn out ones for other things, you know. Oh yeah, me too. I I use those scrubby things. Yeah, the, that's the ones I'm talking about. The scrub with the scrubby. Oh, thing I was about. talking about like a sponge, but they have a sponge on one side, a scrubby on the other right. side, right? That's what, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, right. I've used those too for the yeah. bathroom. Yep. Yeah, I, I use those for you know for whatever. the bathroom sink and stuff. Yeah. For dishes, pans, whatever. Right. Right. But yeah, I mean, um, one of the best ones I found that I have right now, though, is called Scrub Daddy. And I don't know, I haven't seen it at the store for a while, but it's like this circular thing. And it's kind of like a sponge, but it's like a heavy duty sponge. And those work really good, dude. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up here. I'm sure, hopefully I can find it. I don't know if they still make them. Or, you know, 2020 is so weird because you don't know what, you don't know what, is still around, or you know what I mean? Like stuff has gone away. Oh, they have two of them. Here we go. Scrub Scrubdaddy dot com and Scrub B Scrub Mommy. Scrub Mommy. <laughs> Scrub Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I have one. Um, it looks the, like the regular... a cat or a dog. The mom, dad, 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 they work really good, dude. I'm dad, just saying, dad, they work dad, really good. Dad's a dog and mom's a cat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, they they have pumpkin ones and yeah, you can oh, get like yeah. seasonal. <laughs> They've gone all fancy with sponges now. Oh, yeah, that's that's nice. You can even get a cart thing. Did you see that for your cart, your grocery cart? Oh no! Hang on a second. They got like this um, cart, or it's a bag that you can like hang in your cart. So, like, if you are shopping and you want to use reusable bags, you hang these from your inside your cart, and then you fill the bags up as you shop. All right. That might be kind of cool. Might be. I'm just saying. I've not really seen this before. Yeah. But I'm just saying. It, it might be kind of cool. I don't know. How do, how do we go down this path? I have no idea. Sponges and disinfecting them. I don't know. Because everyone's so ultra paranoid, you know. Oh, yeah. germs, 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 germs. It's like, people, germs existed before 2020. Okay? Yeah, they did. They, they, they really did. And so did bacteria. And so did viruses. Yeah. Okay? All these things that were yep. around. Yes. And, and, and you know, what, they, yeah. maybe they weren't genetically engineered right. as, as they are now, but. Uh, they they were they were still there. <laughs> yeah, and then like people like we have immune si immune systems for a reason. For a reason. Okay. And they work. They work if you have a healthy one. They might not work as well if you don't have a healthy one. But it's ah. I know. I know. Common sense. That's all I'm saying. Well, you know, common sense just ain't that common. Right, and I understand <laughs> if you have a compromised immune system. You know, I would be afraid, too. I'd be afraid every winter to catch the flu. 
if I was immunocompromised. You know what I'm saying? Right, sure. I mean, why is it, oh, it's, oh there's this new thing now, so we got to be all paranoid. It's like, oh, my God. Well, obviously there's a, a, a hidden agenda behind this whole coronavirus. Right, agenda. right, of course. I mean, when they're telling you to stay, stay six feet apart, cover your cough with your arm, which I've always done, and wash your hands often, which I've always done. Right. That I always did that stuff. <laughs> what, did people not wash their hands good enough? I, before you know, that? I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know what I don't think they did, but yeah. now they're really like, wash your hands. You know, like, it's my, to my boys, it must be like the goal of mom. <laughs> now we've got the, the government tell us to wash our hands, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to deal with our mom telling us every day. Yeah. I mean, I do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not like they listen to anything you got to say anyway, but yeah. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, no <laughs> coughing, no sneezing. If You know, it's like people are afraid to sneeze. You're like, oh, they're going to think I have a corona. Yeah, the Rona is that thing. They're going to think I have the Rona. <laughs> no, I saw a shirt, though, that said, it's a 420 cough, not Corona. Uh, That's pretty funny. I mean, along those lines. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? yeah, that works. That works. That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, no coughing allowed. That's right. No sneezing, no hugging, no kissing, no sex. Well, I think you can have a sex, have sex if you're wearing a mask and you're not, not kissing and you're doing 69 or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can do a doggy style. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Doggy, reverse reverse cowgirl. Just don't breathe on each other. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I, see, I don't think I, you know, I... Hey, I'm, 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 and- Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, I was saying, I, I'm sure I've done all these various positions, but I, I don't remember <laughs> using. I didn't say, "Hey, let's let's try X style." <laughs> we just did what we did. Corona style. There you go. Corona style. That's right. <laughs> so, but they tell they fail to tell you that sex boosts your immune system. Hell yeah. It does. It's been proven. So if I were you, I'd say, fuck you. I'm going to boost my immune system while by having sex. Yep. It's a win-win. It might be corona style, but at least I'm boosting my immune system at the same time. It's a win-win, baby. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) it is. All right. Well, we're going to play some music here. (laughs) All right. Let's do that. Oh, just to get this stuff going. Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) Okay. We're going to kick it off with a little bit of... The Pretty Reckless. Right. Parental Advisory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's a little of the brand new ACDC there for you. Uh, it's called Demon Fire, that track right there. Uh, the new album, Power Up, is out now. If you uh, like ACDC and haven't had any new ACDC for a long while, uh, check out the new album, Power Up There, and uh, you can have that track, Demon Fire, right there in your very own home. Before that, Greta Van Fleet, off of their new album, it's called Age of the Machine, or Age of Machine, no the in there, Age of Machine, and uh, that album will not be out for a while, not until April, Uh, but we get a little taste there. Age of Machine right there for you, Greta Van Fleet. And we kicked it off with the pretty reckless, not brand new, going all the way back to 2013 there, going to hell. So uh, we're doing. Yeah, anyway, that was a uh, kick-ass metal opening set there for you to get, yep. get things going the right direction. <laughs> oh, yep. boy. Yeah. Yep. So fun, fun, fun stuff. So welcome, uh, new, new, new people. Yeah, welcome, new people. Sean and MJC and who else? Yeah. Do we have, who else do we have coming in? I don't know. Yeah. And whoever else is new. Yeah, whoever else came in during that set. <laughs> yeah. Welcome and, to and we, 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 uh, Balls the Wall. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we didn't even say hi to to the other people on the you know first go oh, around yeah. there, but 
You all know who you are. Welcome. You do. You know who you are. Hopefully. Hopefully. And in 2020, does anyone know who we are? I, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. Like, if you don't know who you are, I can't help you. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's see what Nothing's going on. Oh, some kids here in Eau Claire were messing around, and one got shot, and now he's critically injured. Got shot by who? A gun. Three no. kids were fucking around with a gun, and what, it must have accidentally went off or something. He didn't get shot by a gun. He got shot by a person. By a person recklessly handling a gun. <laughs> Correct. Guns don't shoot people. People shoot people. Yeah. Exactly. I, anyway, uh, I'm sure you can. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often here in Eau Claire. I mean, it can happen anywhere, but yeah, you know, no, I you know, can happen. Kids are kids are stupid, and, and yeah, well, adults are stupid too. <laughs> yeah, just because you're 18 doesn't mean uh, shit. I'm always fired up, goob. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Goober mention my name over in the other channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grimdy is fired up. Yeah, I'm fired up, man. Uh, ready you to... ain't fired up. You might as well be fucking dead. Well, how about that? But I mean, well, I mean, come on. I yeah, mean, if you're uh, not paying attention, if you're just well, I was just saying, like, along with the show. I, I was just saying, like, first thing in the no. morning, I'm not real fired up. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, and I don't want to be dead first thing in the morning. Well, unless unless I wake up, unless <laughs> I wake my dead, unless I wake up dead, in which case that's fine too. Um, I, that's right. right. I, I mean, if I if I if if and when I do ever die, that <laughs> that would be my preferred method is to wake up dead. Right, die in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that'd be great. Yeah, just you just boop. Darn. That would be easy. Yeah. Right. Not yeah. some traumatic thing. Just. Right, 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 right. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Finito. <laughs> Finito. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, Moose Girl okay. post, posted a link in the, in our in our PM. Yeah. And it's on zerohedge.com, but it comes from Michael Snyder over at the Economic Collapse Blog dot com, mm -hmm. and it's called "Waiting for the Other Shoe to Drop." Do you feel like another major crisis could erupt at any moment? Duh. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, probably. <laughs> if if so, you are certainly not alone. Here in 2020, it has just been one thing after another. Don't forget about the murder hornets. And we have come to expect the unexpected. Right now, so many people that I am hearing from are anticipating that one, that more, more big trouble is just around the corner. But as we wait for the other shoe to drop, economic conditions all over the U.S. of A continue to rapidly deteriorate. Rapidly. Oh, yes, it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. Yeah, they can't keep this shit going for long. You know, this this financial nonsense that's going on. Uh, you can't just shut companies down and expect people to still be able to live. And so, what are they? What are they gonna do for you? What are they gonna do for you? I don't know. They're gonna get, <laughs> Can't gonna, be good. They're gonna they're gonna give you six hundred dollars. Ooh. <laughs> now, now take. Do I have to get the vaccine though? No, 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 not for that. Oh, good. No, okay. no, no. I think that's I think that's a. I don't want it. Yeah, I, I, I don't th want that. I think yeah. that's a fifteen hundred dollar deal to get the vaccine. Um, but. Uh, so, so you take that six hundred dollars and you stretch it out over the past six, eight months. When was that twelve hundred dollars they gave you? That was supposed to be um, May. That was what was that like July or something? I don't. April. I think. Know. I think April. It, oh yeah, April. Okay. Yeah. So twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars is supposed to last you from April till now. Right. And, and now you're going to get six hundred, which is supposed Yay. to supposed to last you another six months. I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's amazing. Anyway, so it says, for example, on Thursday, we learned that a number of initial claims for unemployment benefits last last week was the highest in four months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The U.S. job market continues to suffer because you shut all the businesses down. And Thursday brought more bad news. 
Another 885,000 people filed for first-time unemployment benefits last week, an increase from the week prior uh, and higher than the 800,000 claims that were uh, the economists, the con, especially there, uh, were expecting. The latest figures were adjusted for seasonal factors and reported by the Labor Department are particularly grim. Yes, grim. Grim. Since last week's numbers were revised up to 862,000. So these, these week's numbers of 885 will be tuned up to 950 or something. And even before the revision, uh, that, that week had been the highest level since mid-September. This isn't how numbers were supposed to be trending, according to them. But according to logic and reason and looking at what's going on around the world, that is how numbers were supposed to be trending. So for, uh, for four of the past five weeks, we have seen the number of new unemployment claims go up. And experts, <laughs> you got to love those guys, are warning that we should expect things to get even worse. Right. As, as we head into winter. Yeah, right. Yep. It, yeah, you can definitely expect... Uh, Shit, oh, yeah. shit to get worse. U.S. weekly jobless claims continue to head in the wrong direction. Edward Moya, an analyst at the currency trading firm Oanda, uh, wrote in a research note, the labor market outlook is bleak, you think, uh, as the winter wave of the virus is going to lead to more shutdowns. Yeah, all of pretty much all of New Mexico is shut down. I, I don't know how much further you can go. Uh, so could we see soon see more than a million American filing new new claims for unemployment every week, like we did earlier in the pandemic? Absolutely. Uh, to put this in perspective, the previous all-time record prior to 2020 was just 695,000, and that old record was set back in 1982. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, there was real stuff. Well, um, a natural uh, recession going on back then, I guess. A natural versus what we have yeah. now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we, we absolutely shattered that record once Corona Bologna started spreading uh, or being. Right. We were, so start, once we were told it was spreading widely. Not that it was spreading widely. We were just being told it was being spread widely. Right, we were being uh, told. Throughout the U.S. And we have been above that old record every single week this entire planned debit. Just think about that. Just think about that. We are seeing numbers that we have never seen before in all of U.S. history every single week. That right. that, that includes the freaking Depression. Yeah, uh, and now they are starting to climb higher once again, thanks to new lockdowns. There you go. Now you got right. it right. It's not due to Corona. It's due to no. new lockdowns. Yep. In addition, the number of Americans that are collecting unemployment aid from two major federal programs is also on the rise once again. And the number of jobless people who are collecting, if they actually give it to you, which oftentimes they don't. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, so the, uh, the 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 planned demic unemployment assistance assistance program, uh, which offers coverage to gig workers like uh, Uber drivers and such, and others who don't qualify for traditional benefits, surged to 9.2 million from 8.6 million for the week that ended at November 28th. But the number of people receiving aid under the second program in the planned demic. Emergency Unemployment Compensation Program, which provides up to 13 weeks of federal benefits to people who have exhausted their state aid, also rose from mm -hmm. 4.5 million to 4.8 million. By now, the quote, recovery, unquote, was supposed to be in full gear. I heard Trump tell us all about the recovery. Everything will be fine by September. <laughs> but instead, yeah, right. yeah. But instead, major companies keep laying off more workers at an astounding pace. Uh, for example, on Thursday, we learned that Coca-Cola, the real thing, will be eliminating 12 percent of their entire workforce. Uh, oh, that's big. Uh, Coca-Cola is planning to cut 2,200 oh. jobs, uh, 2,200 jobs, including 1,200 in the U.S. as it Holy faces. Shit. 
It faces declining sales during the pandemic. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear people aren't sitting at home sucking down the freaking nasty Coca-Cola shit. So, sorry about your jobs, but, you know, I'm, I'm glad to hear people are cutting back on that stuff. Uh, the, the U.S., where there were about 10,400 employees at the end of last year, the cuts represent roughly 12% of the workforce. In Atlanta, the company is headquartered where it's headquartered, about 500 jobs are being eliminated. So Coca-Cola won't be do wouldn't be doing this if the U.S. economy was about to turn the corner. Yeah, it's about to turn a corner, but it's a sharp decline corner. It's not right. It's not a good upswing corner like yeah. Yeah, when they say the corner, they don't tell you which direction <laughs> yeah. up or down. They, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, so um. This this shit ain't getting better no uh, 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 no uh, uh, anytime soon. Um, so <laughs> yeah, you don't hear about the flu right now, do you? Sharp turn to the shitter, absolutely, Sean. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right down that fucking sewage pipe. It, yeah, it, 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 this this shit this shit is uh, wow. <laughs> I guess it's supposed it's, it's where it's supposed to be if it's in the shitter. Right. Well, and 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 they always tell you, well, we got all these new cases, we got all these tests, we do all these tests. What are they using? What are they using for tests? The, the PCR crap. They're using the which P is not a test for it. Which is not a test for it. And, no. And and now Bullshit. right and now apparently anyway according to. The website offguardian.org. Yeah. The WHO, that's the WHO, not the rock group, not the owl, as right, no. as Hal says. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not the rock group, not the owl. The WHO finally admits PCR tests create false positives. So, Bingo! Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Yeah, mostly, mostly false positives. <laughs> so warnings concerning the high CT value of tests are, are months too late. So why are they appearing now? The potential explanation is shockingly cynical. Really? Uh, the World Health Organization released a guidance memo on December 14th warning that high cycle thresholds on PCR tests will result in false positives. While this information is accurate, it has also been available for months. And we've been talking about it for months right here on this yep. show. Uh, yes, we have. So we must ask, why are they, they reporting it now? Is it to make it appear the vaccine works? Maybe. Could be. Probably. Uh, the gold standard SARS-CoV-2 tests are based on polymerase chain reaction, PCR. PCR works by taking nucleotides, tiny fragments of DNA or RNA, and replicating them until they become something large enough to identify. The replication is done in cycles, with each cycle doubling the amount of genetic material. The number of cycles it takes uh, to produce something identifiable is known as the cycle threshold, or the C Right, they just keep testing and testing until they get the result they want. Or, keep, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or the yep. the CT value. That's not the cowboy. Right. That's not the cowboy tech value. No, oh. that, that, that's the, the cycle threshold value. The yeah. higher the higher the CT value, the less likely you are to be detecting anything significant. Right. The WHO memo states that using the high CT value to test for the presence of SARS-CoV-2 will result in false positive results. As we see all across the nation that these 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 test numbers, the case numbers are going through the roof. All of the lockdowns and masks and hand washings and uh, social distancing and contact tracing and all the other nasty shit they're doing is useless, is worthless. If they keep using this test, that creates false freaking positives. 
So it says users of RT-PCR reagents should read the IFU carefully. They don't. And determine if manual adjustment of the PCR positivity threshold is necessary. They don't. To account for any background noise, which is all background noise at these levels, which may lead uh, to a specimen within a high cycle threshold, CT, uh, value result being interpreted as a positive result, which is 99.99%. Uh, they go on to explain, again, their emphasis, uh, the, the, the design principle of the RT-PCR means that for patients with high levels of circulating virus, a high viral load, relatively few cycles will be needed to detect the virus, meaning they may actually have something. If they can find it with low levels, low, low, low uh, RT or CT levels. Uh, so... Uh, They've got this all so hosed up, I, you, you know. <laughs> yeah, they do. And they and, go, uh, and it's intentional, and it's because they want yep. to maintain control of everybody right. and further their control of everybody. Yep. Uh, yep. Because Tell you, you have this. You have to do this, this, and this. No. Doctor, Take this drug, get this shot. Yeah, yep. do, do, Dr. Kerry Mullis, who won the Nobel Prize for inventing the PCR process was very, absolutely, totally clear that it was not meant as a diagnostic tool. Saying, with PCR, if you do it well, you can find, find almost anything in anybody. Meaning, this is not a test for a freaking corona or anything else. It's not meant as a diagnostic tool. What the hell are you morons doing using this? And commenting on cycle thresholds, one said, uh, if you have to go more than 40 cycles to amplify a single copy gene, there, there's something seriously wrong with your PCR. Seriously wrong! Uh, <laughs> yeah, big time. Anyway, you guys can like, read their... Okay, okay, from a personal example, um, I'm not exactly sure when the PCR test came out. It's that rapid test, right? That, well, right. that's that's what they're using. Okay, that, yeah, that's what they're... So, anyway, my kid goes to college, but he lives on campus in a house. He lived there all summer. He moved out here out of here in June. Been living there. School don't start till September, right? Right. Well, he had to be tested a couple of times because someone at his work was positive. Yeah. But he never was. Anyway, so he moves into the, the, the house on the campus, and sure enough, Week before or the week of school starting, there's all these positive cases, cases all, this, all of a sudden, and him. It was, no, it was like two weeks before school started, or a week before maybe. Yeah. So I just think there's something up with that. It, do you remember hearing about the college campus thing, Graham? Yeah. In September, all of a sudden, all these college kids now are COVID positive. Right. They have to move out of the dorm, like, and they have to... Social distance. And Zach, his whole house had to quarantine for 14 days. And another house because they had intermingled, right? Right. And I just think it's very fishy. You know, here they are partying and living like that from June, July, August. Right. Also in September, oh, now you guys are all positive. Oh, and they said, oh, because you guys weren't social distancing. Right. You know, you guys were just partying and not paying attention. And you know what I mean? It was it's all this whole guilt trip thing. Have you noticed that too? Uh huh. Like, oh, your fault. You didn't do this. You didn't. You did this. You didn't do this. They can't prove any of this. Right. You, you, if you get COVID positive, you don't know where the fuck you got it from. No, not, not at all. You know you're with someone that also was COVID positive. Mm -hmm. You will not know where you got it from. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like right. my mom, she she's COVID positive. You know, she's like, well, I don't know where I got it from. And she's trying to rack her brain. I'm like, Mom. You didn't get it from anywhere. It's a know. bad test. You didn't get it from anywhere. It's a bad test. Right. Yeah. And I didn't say that, but, you know, she's old. Like, you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Well, tell, tell her, go go have go have another test the next day and the day after that and the day after that. And well, see if she they... did again, and now she's positive again. <sighs> Still uh. after, like, four weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And and she never got sick, right? Well, she said she was a little tired. She had like well, I'm a little stomach. 
I'm a, I'm, I'm a little tired. <laughs> right, I get tired too. I mean, you know, and an upset stomach. That's that's that happens. So you know. she's she's probably going to line up for the vaccine, right? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, probably, but I don't know. Well, I mean, she, you know, you know what I mean? It, yeah. That's not my. I know. It, you know what I mean? All right. Well, choice, but. Well, you know, you know, they're 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 rolling out the vaccines. We've heard about certain right. Small, oh yeah. We've heard about certain small problems. Yep. Um, with with, with the Pfizer vaccine, and now today the Moderna, uh, vac- was released, vaccine right? was released, and yep. this this is something you have not heard about. Nobody here has heard about this yet. Okay. Media blackout. Activistpost. dot com. Oh, we've heard of that. <laughs> no, no, no. You've heard of Activist Post, sure. And you oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you've heard of media blackouts, sure, but you haven't heard this story. Okay. Moderna's FDA report lists thirteen deaths in vaccine trials. Wow. But get this: six in the vaccine group, seven in the placebo group. Which what? <laughs> <laughs> How are placebos killing people? <laughs> All right. So the Pfizer COVID vaccine is already being administered to the public in the UK, and the first doses have been given in, in the U.S. ahead of max, mass vaccination campaign on a global scale. It's important to recognize that the Pfizer COVID vaccine has not been approved by the FDA. It has only received emergency use authorization, EUA meaning the vaccine has not gone through the standard process to get official approval from the regulatory agency. Now, Moderna's experimental COVID vaccine is set to get the same emergency use it already has, uh, allowing uh, the, the shot to be distributed to millions of people. We've already, we have already witnessed short-term adverse side effects, events, whatever, from the Pfizer vaccine. Truth is, nobody knows what the long-term effects could be, will be, and it appears the public is being subjected to an experiment on a global scale. That's right, you're all freaking guinea pigs. Uh, and, and this no. report, yeah, you are, and um, yeah. it's not gonna come out well. Anyway, and no, this, I wouldn't sign up for that. No, I it, wouldn't. No. So in this report, and, and I can only give you so much because most of it's done in a video that he did, but uh, in, right. this re- in this report, we examined discrepancies in the FDA Moderna report that was voted on by the advisory panel. The panel voted 20 to 0 recommending the EUA, 20 to 0 on an untested piece of shit. Uh, some of the discrepancies include cherry-picked trial participants to achieve the desired results to to gain the EUA, meaning eliminate all the bad shit. We're only going to pick the ones that it seems to be working for, as well as uh, 13 total deaths in the trial, six in the the vaccinated group, seven in the placebo. Seven placebo deaths. What kind of placebo are they giving these people? Uh, And they okayed it. Oh, it's safe. It's safe. Yeah, it's good to go. Yeah, it's excessive. Yeah. So, so, uh-huh. so we killed 13 people. And we and have. Look, Pence got it. And the Surgeon General got it. And some ER nurses got it, Grim. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, they're get, if you believe that they actually got it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, you know. They did that in Ohio, I, I guess, I guess. Like the first, in Wisconsin. They showed the first person to get um, the, sh- the vaccine here. Yeah, I guess somehow yeah. uh, seeing people that are well-known out there. And if it's on TV, dude, and they, they show you, they're getting the shot right there on live TV, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. You don't know for sure if that's the actual vaccine they're getting or if they're even getting the shot at all, but. Yeah. Like the one clip I saw. The oh, cap by the was way, still on. The cap was still on. Uh, by, by the way, and I don't have a, a link to a story about it or anything, uh, but uh, you, you remember the big hubbub over the hydrochloroquine? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was uh, the the FDA uh, yeah. and uh, another group. I forget who the other big group was that said, "Oh, don't take that stuff. That stuff will kill you." They they've they've turned that around now. 
hydrochloroquine is absolutely right. fine and safe yeah. and recommended. And they knew that all along. Uh, we, of course we knew it all along, but they would not admit it until after the right. election. they wouldn't admit it. And, it, it. Until after the election, <laughs> because Trump recommended the HVQ. So right, a lot of it's going to have been saved, but because it was a Trump thing, oh no, we right. can't do that, and, and so, dumb fuck. So because all these... Then they accuse him of causing death. Right. Well, because... they blocked him from <laughs> trying not to cause death, okay? Right, right. I mean, I'm not... Fuck you if you think I'm a Trump supporter for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they do it because it was his idea. Yes, HCQ works, man. And HCQ has been around a long time. 30, not 40 Trump years. Thing. It wasn't that Trump thing. We talked about that on Freaker's Ball. Hey, Vinny. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah it, it, how, it's, how long, Grim? 40 years, 50 it's, years? It's something like that. They've, they've been yeah. using it. They've been... I, I, I mean, the quinine's been around forever. I mean, that's just, right. that's just right. part of a tree. That's a bark of a tree. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> and, and that's been used for, for millennia to, to, to cure disease, to cure, to cure uh, the malaria and stuff. Um, and, and, and HCQ. Right. How do you think they survived? They had a treatment, a natural yeah. treatment. Right. Yep. Uh. Yeah. So, so frustrating. Anyway, we're going to, we're, we're going to play some more music here. Hey, um, Vinny. Yeah, Vincent I saw my li like lisp girl today, so I'm just saying. She's satisfied. Tell her she's satisfied. I saw my lisp girl. Don't 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 uh, placate me. I'm placating. I I'll placate. <laughs> I'll placate if I want to freaking placate. Don't don't okay, tell me. Graham. Don't tell me who to All placate. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a guy that goes <laughs> by the uh, initials. B-M-F-S. Billy Mad on the Strings. Oh, there you go. Thank you. And we thank you all. <laughs> That's the Rolling Stones there. Uh, first uh, song was uh, Eric Clapton there doing Little Red Rooster with him. And the second song was uh, Boogie Chillin' uh, by the king of the boogie, John Lee Hooker. Yeah, he's one of my top five favorite all-time blues men. Oh, man, I love John Lee Hooker. Eric Clapton's great, too, yeah. Don't, uh, don't uh, don't, don't lose nothing on Eric. Man, uh, before that, we had, uh, I think, that well, I believe that was for Cowboy Tech there. Ten years after, I'd love to change the world. And we kicked it off with a Moose Girl track there. Y'all come. Yeah, some uh, some great uh, banjo picking on uh, that stuff right there. Yes, in a dee 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 dee. My you girl. You know it. Oh, you Jillian, know it. A Jillian Anderson is single, huh? Hmm. She is. You're I'm one a, of your girls, Graham. I might have to look her up. Hey, Scully. Send her, to email or send her an email or something. Hey, so I follow her on Twitter, so. Oh, there you go. <laughs> she, she, You're she, good. <laughs> she still looks all right, you know. Yeah, no, she I looks... mean, we're not getting any younger, none of us, you know. She, 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 she looks good. She looks good. She still looks good, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's still a cutie. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, anyway. And she's, um, she's a great actress, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah she is, yeah. Um, big drug bust. <laughs> oh, okay. Kind of funny. Not funny, really. I'm sure it's not funny for the people involved, but uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, nearly two dozen people, including one from Wilmington, are facing federal charges following an investigation into the sale of drugs on or near multiple campuses in North Carolina. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, some people are big time busted here. And what, um, what kind of drugs were they? Marijuana. That's not a drug. Cocaine Am and I... significant quantities of other drugs, <laughs> which they mean shrooms and MDMA. Uh, okay. They don't mean like heroin, you know. All right. They might. I don't. I mean, heroin might be part of it. I wouldn't be. But these people are fucked up. They're young, dude. I'll just post the link here. Yeah. Uh, and I, apparently, this has been going on for years. This is yeah. not. Uh, so they've been invest being investigated for years. All right. And now it's coming down. All right. Well. But the you know they're uh, twenty four, twenty seven, twenty three, twenty four, twenty seven, twenty four, twenty three. I mean they're all young people. Okay. I mean. Uh, 
I'm not saying it's wrong for you. I'm just saying, uh, you know, and I, I guarantee you, probably a lot of these kids were college students. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And it's like, you people, oh. Okay, so some were busted for marijuana and some were, for, were busted for cocaine. Um, and some were busted for both. But, yeah, the marijuana stuff should be thrown out. You know, the cocaine I stuff mean, should be thrown out, too. But you know. All of it should be. You know, like they did in Oregon, they made all this stuff legal now, right? Yeah, well, to, to a degree. A, a lot, some of it. To, to a degree. They, they wouldn't allow, you know, you, you can't walk around with a pound of coke in your pocket. <laughs> right, no, no, not. it's not like that. And and, it, and a pound yeah. of, uh, and a pound of coke packaged up into one gram little bindles, yeah, they, right, yeah, they, yep. uh, they're they're gonna nail you to yeah. the wall for that. You know, I mean, okay, college campuses, drug use happens, <laughs> drinking happens. <laughs> I mean, come on. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Especially have these major ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I mean, this is a major university. Right. Another another example of how the quote unquote war on drugs is Not really a many. war on people because they're they ruin these people's lives now. Right. All of these people's lives are ruined. Because sure. they were in college and doing what other college kids have done before them, and now they're fucked because they got busted. And see you, Ben. Have a good one. Yeah, sleep well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well. but you know what I mean. I mean, 24, and you're going to be charged with a federal drug offense. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Stupid. That's pretty. Yeah. Freaking That's stupid not ass, good. Dumbass laws. Yeah, I mean, they're, wow, wow, I just, why focus that much on that, you know what I mean, it's college, that's what they do, I, Graham, you didn't go to college, and I didn't really either, I didn't really do that whole I took a, I, university I, frat, I, thing, you know what I mean, but. I took a few courses, I didn't, but I wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be. Right, good. I mean. Uh, and I just, I didn't do it. I wasn't trying to get a degree or I just wanted to learn some stuff. Right, right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, you know, I I don't think there should be a do hard time. No. I, I just hope that happens where they don't. And I hope it doesn't wreck their lives. You know what I mean? Right. I absolutely hope for not this too, one, but... this For this, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, oh. I, I feel, know. you know, uh, I hope they have good. Yeah, no, it's hor it's horrible. It's horrible. It, it is, yeah. 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 Right, free. I mean, I'm sure they have lawyers, hopefully, and you know, I'm hoping for the best for them. But what a way to go! You know, you're in college, you get. Uh, uh, yeah. Not good, dude. Right. Anyway, um. And this isn't the only campus that this, this goes on at. No, it goes on everywhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And not just college campuses, everywhere. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah right. so I... Like, that's... It's an example of how the war on drugs is not really on drugs, it's on people, like sure. I said. Sure, sure, sure. You sure. know? Yeah. We've said that for a while here, but... Of course. Yeah. And I, I said this last week, but um, the George Floyd thing got turned into a race thing. Yeah. And then it went from a cop brutality thing to a race thing. Right. But guess what? Cops are still killing unarmed people and innocent people and doing stupid shit. Every day. So all this, because it got turned into a race thing... The cops are, like, off the hook all of a sudden. You know what I mean? So nothing was accomplished with all that crap. No, not a thing. Nothing was accomplished by protesting these things because it got turned into a race issue. Right. 
which we've talked about that for him. I, I know we did when it first happened, like back in May. Yeah, yeah. The end of May, early June. And, well, he was high on fentanyl. George Floyd was. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, they use that, even if it was real or staged, whatever, okay? They use that as a catalyst, BLM did, to go out and start doing all the shit that they did so, in Antifa. So when you hear BLM or Antifa, just think right. George Soros. Right, because that's who funds them. Right. So, um, my, and I said this, I know I did, Graham, that this is going to be not a cop brutality thing, it's going to turn into a race thing, and that's what happened. Yep. Because my point is, they're still killing unarmed people for no reason, the cops. They have not stopped doing that. And they so, don't, they don't care what color you are. No. No. So, yeah, you know, um, and one of the biggest clues was when these piles of bricks start showing up in convenient locations in all these major cities, right? Absolutely. Those aren't free, okay? And it's not free to ship a, a, a pallet of bricks to a location. If it so were, I'd be ordering for that. Yeah, if, if bricks were free to be uh, delivered to my right. house, I'd be ordering some. Yeah, I'd, I'd use no some kidding. bricks. Yeah. Bricks are good. <laughs> and then if you look up BLM and all the funding from all the major corporations they have gotten. Yeah. Seriously, look it up if you're interested. If not, obviously don't. But, um, yeah, I mean, they major corporations have bought into this Soros thing. Sure, okay? sure. And it's to divide the world. Like, some of... Someone typed in there a little bit ago. I saw a little thing about division or something. But, yeah, they want division, okay? That's why they bring in these outside organizations to create division amongst the people. Yeah, okay? was, Free and Slave said uh, ra ra a BLM is a racist organization set on division of the world. Right. And that's, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um and you guys, no matter what side you are, are on politically, are you good with that? With these outside organizations and being funded by rich fucking people like George Soros that have all the indispensable money? You know what I mean? Are you not, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it really shouldn't matter what side of the spectrum you're on politically. What should matter to you is that outside influences are, are really basically want to destroy our country, you right, know. Right. They want to take it over. They want it to be, you know, uh, bad. They are bad. Not like what we've been. You not like what you had when you were growing right. up. You know, I mean, I grew up in like the late sixties, early seventies, and the seventies and eighties, and it wasn't that bad. I mean, was it great? No, but. It wasn't that bad, okay? Yeah. We had it pretty good, you know? It wasn't right. leave it to Beaver, right? Because that was like an ideal. No one ever had that <laughs> perfect of a life. I don't care how much you looked like you did. You never did. No. No, you did not. And I, I don't even know that. I mean, that seems kind of like an annoying life to me, but yeah. <laughs> Right, I mean, and it was so like rigid, but and that's how we were supposed to be like be good, be a good citizen, you know, do this and do that, and you know, and you you weren't allowed to question it, you weren't supposed to question anything, no, I mean, no, in the forty in the World War two, you were a hero if you enlisted in the army or the military in any way, sure. Yeah, I mean, and so we get this shit drilled into our head, right? And yeah, now today. I don't know exactly what they're, I guess the end goal, it's a global thing, Graham, the BLM thing and the Antifa thing, right? Oh, yeah. The end goal is for what? Just uh, civil unrest all over the world, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, civil unrest, war, 
I mean, there, there may there may be further goals there that we don't know about, but uh, yep, yeah, but that one's pretty clear and, and and obvious. So there's probably other hidden agendas to that too. So, oh yeah, they always have those. Oh yeah, you know, it's all part of a plan. It's not like compartmentalized. It's all it's all one. Like it's all connected, right, Grim? Sure, it's all connected. It is. Oh, by the way, it's all connected this coming Monday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Circle will be busy, so if okay. if what I hear is correct, Flash will be co-hosting with me. Okay. I'm not sure how that'll cool. go. I'm not sure how that'll go, Flash. Uh, <laughs> Circle tends to give me topics ahead of time, so that's going to be your job. <laughs> yeah, like I was telling my... My dad and his wife, like, I, w- I grew up in Minneapolis in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, right? Yeah. And I, it wasn't, racism wasn't a thing. I mean, it existed, but not like it does today. Like, it's so weird. I didn't think, I thought it was good then. You know, right, not, well, uh, it wasn't perfect, okay? It see, never has been. Go ahead, Graham. Well, see, when, when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. There, there were groups of people that, that hung out together, and and if you were black, you hang out with the black kids, and uh, if you were Mexican, you hung out with the Mexicans, and if you were a stoner, you hung out with me. Um, <laughs> well, no, and, but uh, all the so- like there was all different races of stoners, though, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so <laughs> right, but but yeah. I, I just, just saying that. Uh, uh, so I, I, you know, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't really like racism that was obvious. I mean, uh, if you know people wanted to have a party, you'd invite all the party people, and and if they see right, happened, and happened if to some be, were black and some were white or whatever, it yeah, didn't matter. yeah, Mexican, Asian, we didn't care. Asian, it, yeah, yeah, it was all good. Um, or or if they were like sports people, you know, uh, they they all hung out and, and it didn't matter. Ox the jocks, yep. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, it didn't matter what race you were. If you were the jocks just... in my high school, are the biggest partiers. Dude. <laughs> well, some of them, not all of them, but like the football players. Yeah. Oh my god! Sure, but but I'm just saying, and, and you, know, you know, of course, there's crossover. Everybody's not just in this group. Right, um, right, and it was all good. Yeah, it was all good. No one cared. It wasn't like it is now, where oh my god, you know what I mean? I think they've just played up racism again. They pulled that card again. Yeah, like, well, I you, think you know? <laughs> I, 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 I think that Obama was the biggest race baiter there ever was. Yeah, big time. I mean, he, oh he, yeah, and he, 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 he basically tricked the black people as one for one instance, right? Right. Because they're like, oh, a black president, you know. But you know what? They were so let down. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know, that was like a guy's. To get the black bolt, kind of. I don't sure. know. For, you know, a lot went into that. He was like a Manchurian candidate, for sure. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, Big time. But um, it's just, um, I remember boom. saying on the show, Obama's whiter than me because he grew up with privilege. He, you know, and it's like he doesn't even matter anymore, right? You know? Uh, right, but, 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 but he was, uh, you know, up there with like Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and, Yep, yep. Those others that claim to be leaders of the black race, right? You know, and uh, yep. they, they, they mean they mean the black people no good. Uh, no, they don't. They, no. They're yeah, and I think they're seeing they're they're found out now. You know. Uh, yeah, I guess, but you know, <laughs> and if, and of course, yeah, if you want to take uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. Um, they they use his image, but they totally ignore his words. Right, because, totally. Uh, he he was like, it don't matter what somebody is, just right. uh, live in peace, uh, be be cooperative. The co- the the content of your character. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, and and it doesn't so, matter what your skin color. But, but, so they totally ignore his words, but they use Oh, they do. They totally ignore they, it. But oh they, yeah, but, they're like, oh yeah, we can't have that. No, but, we want division. The they want. Re- Grim, since we've been doing this show for 13 years or whatever, I have said that from day one, that they promote the government promote, promotes racism because they want us divided. Yes, you have been saying that. Yes, and that is exactly the tactic that they do. And now they've just amped it up, you yep. know, tenfold this year, you know. They, they've used this, pan, this 
pandemic as an excuse to do all this other shit. Oh, of course. They, you know, know. Uh, what, Keep what us all it? fucking confused, you know. Yeah. Like, like, like Rahm Emanuel said, never let a good crisis go to waste. Right, and then they keep us all but in what, these what? times, and we're all in this together, and we have to work together, and we're going to get through this, and oh, yeah. It's like, shut up. But but what uh, what I don't recall Emmanuel saying was, let's just go ahead and start creating our own crisis. Right, <laughs> which that's what they do. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, I don't know, man. Okay. I mean, it's the, yeah. Anyway, anyway, so this week, yesterday, day before today, there's been a little bit of, a little bit of snow going on out there Ooh. on the, on the east coast. Yep, oh, a yeah, bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit of snow. <laughs> Quite a bit. So, so, so we got this story here from the New York Post, which uh, I like it. A lot of people don't like the New York Post, but I like them. Um, anyway, <laughs> upstate New York driver trapped in car for hours after plow covers him in four feet of snow. So... Yeah, and it was the plow kind of snow, so he was, like, packed in there. Yeah, so... Um, I'm like a hard-packed snowbank. <laughs> so ima- imagine this. You're you're sitting in your car there in the morning, right. warming it up, getting ready to go to work, and uh, you, you see coming up the road a snow plow, and uh, the snow plow comes by you, and suddenly, boom, you're, 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 you're covered in snow. You can't do anything. You can't get away. You're just stuck in your car. You can't open the doors because a plow did it, and when it's that hard pack, what kind of snow? It just once they pack it, you cannot budge it. It's heavy as hell, dude. Yep. You can't. Yeah. So a 58 year old driver was trapped in uh, for over 10 hours after a plow covered his car with almost four feet of snow in upstate New York. Uh, Crever- Kevin Crescent suffered hypothermia and frostbite as his car was without heat. Due to a broken serpentine belt. Oh my God! Out of heat. Well, that might be a good thing because if the car was the car wasn't running, obviously, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he would have died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. You know. But uh, um. Either way. You no, know, you. I can see it happening. I, I seriously, I have experienced like 14 inches of snow in one time. Yeah. And uh, I can see the plow going by, not noticing someone's in there. It's an abandoned car. They're not really looking. And they just plow them in. That's what they do if you don't move your car, you know. Right. Then they give you a ticket for being there because you fucked up and didn't, you know, move your car. Right. Anyway, it says, uh, at first, authorities <laughs> failed to locate Crescent, who veer- veered off State Route 17C in the town of Owego. So he he was on the road, apparently, and then he got veered off right. by, by the plow. Oh, in. Yeah, but a state trooper finally managed to spot Crescent's vehicle oh, <laughs> after digging through the snow to try and locate a mailbox to check the address. So he's lucky that uh, this this guy was there. No doubt. Uh, Crescent, who was taken to Lord's Hospital for treatment. Um, <laughs> either way, that's a, that's a nice public service you got going on there. Uh, oh, Owego, the town where he was uh, buried there, was pummeled with over three feet of snow on Wednesday night into Thursday. From uh, Oh, my wi- God, three feet? From winter storm. Oh, my God, that's wi- a lot. Winter storm gale. So. Yeah, that is a lot. Okay, I thought it was less than that. Holy crap. Well, there was, so he had snowed three feet that night, and he got buried by four, oh four feet. So, uh <laughs> yeah, you know, like free and slave, it does feel like um, Obama all over again with Joe. It really does. I mean, the cabinet members he's picking and all the, you know what I mean? It, it just, it, it reminds me so much of that. It's, it's like all over again, Obama, you know what I mean? Yeah. To me, I think that's what they want, you know, um, but maybe worse even than Obama, though. <laughs> you know, yeah. they don't want worse than Obama, but it, it, it's like Obama, but it's even, you know, more so. Right. I mean, what do they fucking mean by dark winter? I mean, we already know we're already in winter. People are unemployed. People are hungry. People are losing their jobs. People can't get their surgeries. 
people are committing suicide. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it, we gotta stop this, you guys. You know, we just gotta get out and just uh, congregate and fuck them. You know, I see in Minnesota a bunch of bars are saying, "Fuck you, Governor. We're opening our goddamn bar." You know what I mean? Right. Um, people oh. are done. People are done, dude. People are getting so fed up with, especially business owners. Okay. <laughs> yes, they, they are. They are fucking pissed. Well, yeah, they ruined. You ruined their their whole lives. Yeah. Right. I, absolutely. And you're taking. You have no like. Hale has been talking about this for months on end. <laughs> as much as he thinks I do not listen to him. Um. And they have no right to be doing this, you guys. They do not. Okay? They don't. But I think the problem is, is that people are not willing to go through the court to fight it. You know what I mean? They're just like saying, fuck you. You know what I mean? They're they're just like, uh, we're opening, you know, um... All right. I'm just like, oh, go ahead, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I know. I, well, you know, I understand, and it's uh, like I said here in New Mexico, all everything is shut down. Um, right. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I, there was a, a video, and I watched it earlier today, and apparently, mm-hmm. that little video has been pulled, and the person who originally tweeted it out, it was a, a video on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Their their account is now suspended. Oh, imagine that! And the, and this is the story that got that to happen. Nurse okay. passes out on live television after taking coronavirus vaccine. Now, okay. the video was real. <laughs> the footage was real. So why why would they why would they uh, not ju- you know just pull down the video and suspend this person's account? Uh, this uh, article is on Gateway Pundit. Um, a nurse at CHI Memorial Hospital in Tennessee passed out on live television after receiving the Pfizer COVID nineteen vaccine. She was like a big it was like a big PR stunt uh, for the yeah. for the vaccine, and it could not have possibly gone any worse. Uh, nurse manager Tiffany right. Do- Tiffany Dover was speaking at a press conference about the vaccines when she told reporters. She was feeling a bit dizzy. Moments later, Dover fainted and was caught by one of the doctors standing behind her. It just hit me all of a sudden. I could feel it coming on. I felt a little disoriented, but I feel fine now and the pain in my arm is gone. Uh, The medical team claimed her passing out was not related to the vaccine. (laughs) Right! (laughs) Right. <laughs> and then it said, goes on to say, Dover claims she frequently passes out when she feels pain. Well, why did she feel pain? Uh, a- a- anyway, um, <laughs> um, so so they, so I was going to show you the video, but they but they mm-hmm. pulled but they pulled the video. Oh, they took it down. They they pulled yep. the video down. You can probably find it still out there on the web somewhere. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, they they pulled the video down and they and they suspended the the tweeter's account um, uh, for that. And if you look at you look at the initial tweet there from that, it tells you right at the top. This post is from uh, a suspended account. Learn more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Grandma, follow up quick on the UNC um, drug thing. Yeah, LSD was involved. So okay. What, well, everybody, it every, drugs. it was, you know, it was a uh, mind expanding things. Everybody should be allowed to have all the LSD they want, whatever they want. Great. So, you know, um, yeah. So oh, a- anyway, this, this nurse going on there, do the big PR thing, gets the vaccine, boop. And a few, <laughs> and a few moments later, she tries to stand up uh, and passes out. Boom. Right. And, 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 then here, and here so why why are, why are they trying to hide this? Why, why are they trying to hide this? Why are they trying to hide the fact that you may you may pass out uh, right. from from this vaccine? Right. Um, I here, I, um, I personally have seen uh, people pass out from getting the flu the flu vaccine. 
I uh, me too. Yep. There's this one girl that that used to work at a place that I worked. Some people at. are really afraid of needles too. Well, you know I mean? that, that was it. It's the effect of the vaccine okay, going going yeah. into their system. And uh, they yeah. said, yeah, this girl I worked with, she she went uh, down to the, the we had a little place there in the in this corporation, and she went down there and got her little flu vax, and she came upstairs and she and she was looking a little pale, and she sat down in her office, and a few seconds later she was lying on the floor. Wow. And um, yeah. and she was okay. I mean, uh, nothing nothing bad happened to her. Um, uh, other, other than the fact that it's a good thing she wasn't driving at the time, but, uh, right. Yeah. So, so these vaccines can cause you immediate, uh, problems. I uh, found that right here. Oh, you found, you found the, uh, the video to that. I don't know if the video is removed, but it, cause this might be old, but here's the article or an article on it. Oh, okay. Tennessee News. Yeah, Face I see Live. it. Okay. Yep. They show it still. Let's see if we can get this here. Yeah. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll okay. try it. Put it up on the thing here. Where are we at here? Windows capture. Not mystery monolith. <laughs> Buttons. Huh? You have to push a lot of buttons <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That's close enough. Okay. Yep. Watch the video. We are excited to get the vaccine. You know, ah, um, change the shape. We are in the COVID unit, so therefore, you know, my team will be getting first chances to get the vaccine. And I know that um, it's really, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really dizzy. I'm sorry. I feel fine now. Dover tells us she has a medical condition that can sometimes cause her to faint. This is common for me. Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> oh, man, I, I don't know. It's... it's so you can expect some stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Wow. Um, so. All right, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, I don't really do InfoWars. I look at them every now and then if I see an interesting article. Right. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, you know, uh, David could go someplace else. He doesn't need to be on InfoWars. He's, he's good enough to go on his own. Um, I like David Knight. Hey, we're gonna play some more. I don't more. even know who he is. <laughs> uh, he's, yeah. he's just a reporter. He was, you know, an Infowars. Oh, okay. Infowars screws over a lot of their people. Their I haven't people. watched Infowars for a really long time. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and you know, after Alex got blackballed from everywhere. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hey, we're gonna play some more music here. Yep. Let's do that. This here will be a complete three-song Cowboy Tech request set. All right. All right. Enjoy, everyone. That's right. All right. All right. Yeah, tell me about that revolution, John. Uh, it's the Beatles there. Revolution. Uh, yeah. Before that was Rush with the Twilight Zone, and we kicked it off with Blue Oyster Coat in 4K, ultra high definition. Don't fear the Reaper! <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks, Cowboy Tech, for those requests. Appreciate it very much. You there, Bruce? Am I here? Yeah, I'm here. Thank okay. you, Cowboy Tech. Cool. Yeah. Good stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> Quiet, oh. you. Quiet, you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, what else is going on, Grim? Oh, I'll tell you after I get done putting these requests on. All right. Um. Oh my gosh. So what? I mean, yeah, like you said, the year is almost done. Monday's the solstice. So right. I don't know how you guys all feel about that, but I like the solstice. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Solstice is great. If I live, I live in a winter climate, so. It's kind of a big deal. 
Sure. Not not religiously. More like spiritually or um, the way I like to celebrate Christmas, because I'm not really a Christian. I mean, um, I was raised Christian, but I've kind of gone away from that because I don't like the organized religion aspect of it. I don't like it. Um, right. It doesn't work for me. So um, I, I look for something else. <laughs> And I'm more of like a spiritual, nature-based religion person, um, which Christianity can be that, but I think it misses the mark. Because like we talked about earlier, Graham, it got like taken over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Or the pagan religions and the nature-based religions got taken over by Christianity. Mm -hmm. And we were told this new story. We have to believe it. Um, Good night, Java! And I don't know, I don't believe that story. In this, I don't believe in the um, Immaculate Conception, okay? It seems I just a, don't think that. I don't believe in that. Okay? Well, it, it seems a little far-fetched in how they prove it. Right. To me, I don't, I'm not buying the, um, the Immaculate Conception. I just <laughs> do not buy that. I don't. I, I don't believe some angel came down and impregnated Mary. I, I don't, I don't buy that one. I can't, I can't do that one. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it seems it seems a little. You know, there's no way to prove it. There's, I mean, right. And if you ever watch or done research on religions and Jesus Christ Himself, you'll see that a lot of religions have that kind of a figure in the in in their religion. Sure, they all do. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a, you know it's the same story told over and over. Right, right. Um, and, so you got to do research. I mean, I just of course, I of course, that, of course, mo- most of those other religions didn't go with the virgin birth. Right, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I feel I just feel so spoon fed with Christianity that the, it, it, it just after a while I felt that way, spoon fed. Like this is it. This is the truth. It's like I want to make my own decisions. So that's why I, I started veering away from it. I believe in a higher power. Okay? Good, good. I, I mean, but I, I'm not an atheist, but I'm also not a Christian. Okay? Right. Because I don't like the way, and I've seen the hypo, hypocrisy in Christianity. And I, 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 can't, I can't do that. I can't go there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got a lot of problems with it. But, you know? but so I, you, you know, know, if you uh, look around at all, Mm-hmm. At the perfect balance of everything, it's obvious that this didn't just fucking happen. No. <laughs> this, 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 right. This, this, there, there was definitely uh, a lot of engineering going on. <laughs> yeah. To put, to put all this together. I, I mean, it, it's... Did you uh, see that question from MJC room? Uh, you believe that aliens mess with our DNA? Well, yeah, sure. I, I, whether... Um, yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Um, I mean, uh, somehow uh, people went from Neanderthal to uh, Homo sapien um, within a short, a relatively short time. I, uh, there, there was something going on different there, and I know people go, "Oh, it was evolution," but but right. uh, you know, there there was Neanderthals existing when Homo sapiens existed. Right. So uh, something. Yeah. I believe, and I've seen ancient artwork that shows images of aliens and uh, UFOs, as we call them. You know what I mean? Sure. So I and there's cave writings, cave drawings, um, picturing aliens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. So yeah, I I'm not dissing the alien aspect of it at all. No. No, no, it's it's uh, quite the. The Native Americans believe they're in the star people. Okay. Yeah. I mean, star people. What does that mean to you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Beings of light or whatever, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. And so, he very well could have been free. I don't know that. You know what I mean? No one can prove that. Right. Yeah. In this lifetime. I mean, unless you were there. Yeah. E.T. I could guess. have impregnated Mary. Sure. What? I said E.T. could have impregnated Mary. Maybe, but with a human DNA, I I don't buy. It. I I'm <laughs> I'm not buying that one. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you never know. That's why I, 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 
That's why I said could have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't say they did. Okay. I wasn't there. I wasn't. I wasn't the voyeur in the in Mary's right. uh, getting getting well, humped chamber. Yeah. You know, speaking of aliens, though, I do believe there's been alien contact, and we all these people that see UFOs, it's all real. Okay, they're they're out there, and they're. They're, they're observing here. us. They're here. They've been here they're all here. the whole time. They've yep. always been. They've always been here. Right for a while. No, they're still yep. here. Yeah, they're they, they they've been here since. I didn't say they left, Grim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they've been here since at least uh, ancient Egypt. Um, right. Yeah. For sure. No. Nope. So uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, nobody could say on any of this. It's 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 just uh, right. Uh, whatever ideas you have, um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, speaking of screwing with with uh, human or Earthlings DNA, mm-hmm. we have this from Breaking Nine One One dot com. FDA approves genetically engineered pigs. Okay. <laughs> Genetically engineered pigs. So on Monday, this previous Monday here, the United States FDA approved a first-of-its-kind intentional genomic alteration, or IGA. Intentional. 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 IGA. That's the, that's the uh, short short term of it. Intentional yep. gen- genomic alteration in a line of domestic pigs, referred to as gal-safe pigs. I guess they're safe for gals, I don't know, uh, which may be used for food or human therapeutics. This is the first IGA in an animal that the FDA has approved for both human food consumption and a source for potential therapeutic uses. The IGA is in gal-safe pigs is intended to eliminate alpha-gal sugar on the surface of the pig cells. Uh, people with alpha-gal syndrome, AGS, uh, may have mild to severe allergic reaction to alpha-gal sugar found in red meat, beef, pork, lamb. Uh, today, today's first ever approval of animal biotechnology product uh, for both food and as a potential source of biomedical use represents a tremendous milestone for scientific innovation. Does it? Does it, though? Uh, anyway, that's according to FDA Commissioner... Uh, Stephen M. Hahn, uh, as a part of our public health mission, the FDA strongly supports advancing innovative animal biotechnology products that are safe for animals, safe for people, and achieve the intended results. How do you know they're safe? <laughs> anyway, today's action underscores the success of the FDA, just just like the vaccine safe, right? Uh, underscores the success of the FDA in modernizing our scientific process to optimize risk-based approach to the advance, advances cutting-edge innovations which uh, consumers can have confidence. I don't have confidence. Anytime you start genetically modifying shit, I don't have confidence in you. You don't know where it comes from. Um, th- 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 this... I, 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 no, 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 <laughs> no. You're like, no, no, no. No, I, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want genetically engineered bacon and ham. I and, don't either. I don't want plant meat. Well, this is not plant. This is. I know, but I, you're, you don't, I don't want that, you know, either. Anyway, they explain a lot more in that article. Should you Jesus care, Christ. should you care to read it, but. I, I I'm I'm just I'm not good with. They're trying to like genetically modify us. Hello. <laughs> you don't. They don't know the long term. I mean, come on, man. Right, you don't. Come uh, on, man. <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dog face pony soldier. Yeah. Anyway, uh, back back to the uh, cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine. All right. She don't like. She don't like. Cocaine. <laughs> Where's cocaine? <laughs> well, apparently it's in the Marshall Islands. Okay. Uh, Let's uh, go there. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> and if you were the one to find this rather than the authority, uh, it might have yeah. made your day. I don't know. 
a boat filled with $55 million in cocaine washes ashore in the Marshall Islands. Oh, it's nice. $55 million worth. Holy uh, shit. An abandoned <laughs> boat. Abandoned boat holding a okay. massive, 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 Merry ma Christmas. massive haul of cocaine washed up on a reef Merry in Christmas. the Marshall Islands. Okay. Uh, so the cops say it was the largest shipment of cocaine that has ever been found in the nation, and it may have been drifting in the Pacific Ocean for years. <laughs> for <Okay>. years. <laughs> the 18-foot fiberglass vessel was found to be carrying nearly 650 kilos of the narcotic, which could be worth $55 million on the U.S. streets, according to price estimates. Of course, we well, you know they always jack their, their estimates way up. Uh, based on the, oh yeah, big you know, time. Based on like dime bags or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, they're dumb. Attorney General Richard Hickson told AFP that the boat likely came from Central or South America. It could have been drifting for a year or two. Most of the drugs were destroyed. Yeah, right. <laughs> except, yeah, uh huh. Okay. Except, except for two kilos that were sent to mm -hmm. the to the FDA. Right. Oh, I mean the DEA, not the FDA. <laughs> oh, yeah, the DEA. It's uncommon for stashes of drugs to wash up, which is a shame, uh, along the Marshall yeah. Island shores. But officials told the wire service, uh, service they've never seen such a large shipment. Uh, police speculate that the smugglers may lose their contraband in bad weather or choose to abandon hauls if they are in danger of getting caught. Uh, yeah, $55 million. Somebody's not just abandoning that for... Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They overestimate El Graham, like you said. Well, you know right, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it doesn't give you a total weight here. No. Oh, there it is, there it is. It does, it does. It was oh, okay. Hidden. 650 kilos. That's a lot of... Wow, okay. that, that, that is a lot. You, you, yeah. You... <laughs> that is a lot. You can have a John. You can have a John McAfee worthy party. Well, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> McAfee would McAfee would come and visit you. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my God! It's hilarious. <laughs> Too bad they the, the feds or whatever found it. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it washed up. It washed. Party it, yeah. Just washed ashore on Marshall yeah. Island. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty good sized boat. I don't know. $55. I'm not sure if I agree with this one or buy this. One. I don't know. What's that? The story is oh. itself. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, as we talked about earlier in the show, and as most of you probably know by now, yeah, uh, the uh, idiots in the government are are planning to do another stimulus package. Right, and and what they they're and, wh and what they're saying is, we'll give all the people uh, that make under a certain dollar amount uh, six hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, as we talked about, just this piddly little amount that they, that they want to give you. Right, um, but apparently uh, Trump said, let's give everybody two thousand dollars, and they said. Sorry, we're, that that that'll, <laughs> that that'll mess up negotiations. No, we can't that, do that. That'll fuck up negotiations. We don't want anybody to have two thousand dollars. We'll give them six hundred dollars. That'll make them happy. Oh wow, yeah, that, that'll be good. That, that'll that'll pay their bills for a day. Um, right. <laughs> so so anyway, so 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 Trump was trying to say, hey hey, let's give people two thousand bucks, and, <laughs> and 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 they they the. It says White House AIDS, which I, I don't even know what that means. Does the White House have AIDS? Um, anyway, uh, so Trump was talked <laughs> out of calling for $2,000 direct payments to Americans because it might have derailed fragile relief talks uh, between uh, the lefts and the rights. Uh, in the run-up to Election Day, Trump demanded a larger relief package uh, than Democrats had asked for. Right now, I want to see checks. For for more money than they're talking about going to people, he told uh, right. Trump. Trump told Fox News before he realized Fox News was out to get him too. <laughs> right. Uh, Trump advisors talked him out of calling for the two thousand dollar direct payments to Americans in the next federal coronavirus rescue package. Uh, the, the newspaper cited two sources familiar with events. The Washington Post reported that Trump had held a phone call 
with allies, which he considered allies, which mm-hmm. obviously were not, and which he said he wanted stimulus payments to be at least twelve hundred dollars and perhaps as large as two two thousand. Congressional leaders are drafting a nine hundred billion dollar relief package with a six hundred dollar direct payment, which is half of the the twelve hundred dollars, which is nothing to begin with. Um, uh, you know, they go around and they shut down all the businesses, freak people out, uh, drive people out of their homes, and then say, oh, "Here, this will, this will, this will, this will appease you. This little piddly amount here. See what you can do with that, uh, you stupid fuck American citizens. Um, <laughs> you proles, yeah, proletariat." Oh, uh, God. But no, it's, it's, uh, that's, 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 that's their plan. That's their idea. Uh, is, uh, just screw the people over and give billions to their, to their corporate and bankster sponsor buddies. <sighs> yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to have I think, a- oh, I actually, you know what? When they use the word immaculate, I believe that they mean, like, every birth, you know what I mean? Every freaking child that's born is born as a child of God. That's what Christianity says, right? Sure. So Jesus could very well be a metaphor for all of us, right? He could be. Because we're supposed to, like, be like him, right? Yeah, you're all... Be you're caring all, and you're, be loving and be um, accepting. You're all, you're all children, you're all children of God. We all are like that. You are all children of God. We all can be like that. Human beings. Jesus is like a metaphor. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know how you understand, Graham, but... Yeah, no, me, I... If he, he's human, he's a fucking human. Right? He was human. But he, he And might... if he had these abilities that they say he had, we all have those same abilities. Okay? If you if you understand and how to... every birth is immaculate. Every conception is immaculate. If you understand you how know to... what it's like, what a miracle it is for two humans to create another human? Um, it's pretty miraculous. I mean, think about that. Yeah. Something cosmic's going on there when you're making another human. Okay? <laughs> I just read, I just read Hal's... Hello, Grim? Yeah, no, I, I just read Hal's tweet. Grim? Yeah, I'm here. I'm still here. I didn't go anywhere. Hello? Did Can you, you mute? Me? Did you mute? Oh, shit. Did you mute? What happened? I, I don't know. Did you mute? Did you mute me? Shit. Anyway, <laughs> okay, I, Grim, I don't know. All right, anyway. I did. Anyway, I just read, I just read Hal's tweet. No, I didn't mute you. You're not on mute. Are you sure? Are you positive? Yeah. Are you positive? Are you sure? Anyway, I just read Hal's tweet about the show here. Uh, it says, no, uh, after, I'll call you back. after you pass out, you'll be okay. Honest. <laughs> Don't fear the Reaper. Uh, yeah, no, I heard Moose fine. She just couldn't hear me for whatever reason, so. Um, <laughs> it happens sometimes on on the uh, uh, on the thing here that we listen to or that we use to talk. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and play some more music right here. So, uh, oh wait, here she is. Wait, where is she? All right, there she is. Do 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 do. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry about that. That's all right. That's good and fine. All right, good. All right, I'm gonna anyway, go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go. Ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and play some more music here. All right, good. And um, yes, you're all children of God. I mean, I mean, it, so we all have the same abilities. You just have to get in tune with that part of yourself. And yes. that's that's just Christianity. That's just being a human being. Right. You just have to learn how to manifest manifest those abilities. Exactly. And you got to learn to stay away from propaganda. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you yeah. don't, 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 don't wind up down with the sickness. Right. All right. How about that? Masters of War. Now, the title here says uh, uh, Bob Dylan Masters of War, but of course, that was not Bob Dylan. 
Um, I'm not sure who that was. Might be this guy that posted it, Nathan Lee. Either way, not Bob Dylan, but still a great version of the song Masters of War. Before that, Joe Bonamassa, Beyond the Silence, off of the new album that's coming. I think it's coming out. Uh, it must be out already. All right, so uh, check out Joe Bonamassa and see if you can find his new album there. And we kicked it off there with Disturbed Down uh, with the Sickness. Down with the Sickness. Where, where, where am I at here? <laughs> you still with me, Bruce? <laughs> uh, I lost. I figured I couldn't figure find my camera. That wasn't Samantha Fish, though. No, it wasn't Samantha Fish. No, why does it say Samantha? Oh, I, I oh, searched. I searched. I searched for Samantha Fish. Oh, okay. She she gotcha. also covers Masters of War. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. I yeah. think we played that one time, didn't we? Oh, probably. And, uh, but it brought oh, up yeah. a Danny Wild, which is uh, when Samantha Fish was with uh, Girls with Guitars. I don't know. I don't know if you. Oh, either. yep. I remember that. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was yep. Danny Wild, Samantha Fish, and somebody else I can't remember the name of. Um. Mhm. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. Good set. Yeah. Um. So, um, it, I don't feel Christmas this year, like. Even the holiday, like, like, this year is so, like, bummer. You know what I mean? Like, my dad's like, what are you doing for Christmas? I'm like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what do you think? But, you know, I don't really, like I said, I don't really celebrate Christmas, but, um, you know, I don't think anyone, unless you're, like, you have a family that thinks like me and you, Graham, most people are, like, really afraid, you know? Yeah, yeah, they are. I know. And it, I I don't like that, that I, I'm thinking of people being afraid. Yes. Yeah. You know, any time, yeah. but. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just hope that people can uh, love more, reach into their heart more, and not hurt. You know what I mean? Don't let it get to you. Like, try to think of the good things. Sure. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, I, you know? I mean, you know, just just uh, be good to those people that you like, and and ignore the people that are that are being bitches. You know. Um, right. I mean, just like do no harm. Like Cowboy Check said, do no yeah. harm. You know what I mean? Like, we all need to be, like, kind. And when smile when you can. Right. Right. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, I do I know. mean, yeah. Yeah, you have to, like, I think um, a lot of times at the, the end of the year, people have a tendency to, like, reflect on the year past. You know right. what I mean? That's what we do our prediction show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Which, by the way, yeah. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, get your prediction then. All you got to do is type exclamation point predict, and then whatever your prediction is, and it'll right. go go into our Just thing. And we'll... So exclamation point predict space, right. then type what your prediction is. Right, yeah. and then and then we'll we'll cover all those on New Year's Eve or New Year's Eve. Yep. Which will be a Thursday. No. Which will yep. be a Thursday. So we're gonna do right. the 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 final. Um, we're Freaker. actually doing Freakers Ball on New Year's Eve. A, thir a Thursday night. Yep. Yeah. And we'll be back on Friday, next Friday, on actual Christmas night. Right, to, Christmas uh, night. Oh. To, to do a to an actual uh, Christmas to, show. to do our Christmas show. Anyway, we gotta yeah, do it, the, we, it's always a good show. Yeah, it is. And it's just, you yep. know, Christmas Christmas jam, so uh we're right. gonna do we're gonna we gotta jump into the last set here. All right, let's do that. And uh and um we'll be back after this. We may go a slightly over, so stick with us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's Stoner Train, Stoner Train doing Black Betty there. Oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, before that, C6 Steve started out with nothing, and I still got most of it left. And we kicked it off there with the Moody Blues, Cowboy Tech Request. The Moody Blues doing Question. It's a great song, too. Oh, man. Thanks, everybody, so much for tuning in this evening 
here with us on the Freakers Ball, freaking along. Uh, we will be back next Friday night, Christmas. Yes. Christmas Day night. Um, so so that uh, we'll, we'll play some Christmas jams. We'll have a good time. Yeah, It'll be fun. We have a good time on our Christmas show. It's really fun. So so if, it's a good time. You know, yep. if, if you're not doing stuff on uh, you know Christmas night, then stop right, on by. It's late enough, so you should be done with all your Christmas crap. Right. Not, you know, sure. unwind, have an eggnog or whatever drink you want. Or just drink the rum, it's a healthy eggnog. Yeah, just drink it straight, fuck it. <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, it's a good time. So hopefully see you guys all next Friday. And yep. Merry Christmas or whatever holidays you celebrate. Happy holidays and uh, hope you have fun. Absolutely. And yep. we will talk to you later. We will. Peace. Peace.